begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin confessing our sins together. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. So for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead to sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment, and to know the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, is one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading today is from the book of Revelation, chapter 7. After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. 
Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these, robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God, and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more, and thirst no more, and the sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat, for the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel is according to Matthew chapter 5. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are all who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of false, all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Amen. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. A brief reflection today. When Jesus sits on the mountain and starts that long sermon in Matthew's Gospel, he begins with these statements of blessing. Blessed are the poor in spirit, those who mourn, the meek, those who hunger and search for hunger and thirst for righteousness, and so on. Jesus speaks of the positive outcomes of these conditions. You know, they will be comforted. They will inherit the earth. They will be filled. He says, blessed are you now. And Jesus says, blessed you will be. God's promises are for today, as much as they are for when we, for after we die. We trust that baptized into a death like Jesus' death, We are also baptized into a resurrection like Jesus' resurrection. In baptism, we're clothed with the righteousness of Christ. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit. We are marked with the cross of Christ forever. And proclaimed on a mountain or in the valleys that come in daily life, our identity as blessed, baptized saints moves us to live in ways that give thanks to God for the many gifts and blessings that we have. Now, All Saints Day isn't just about remembering those who've died and whose names we will read in worship today. All Saints is about all the saints, the ones who have gone before, the ones living now, and the ones still to come. Today we remember, with thanksgiving, our siblings in Christ who have gone before us this past year. We also give thanks for the saints who labor and worship with us here on this side of Heaven's Gate, for you. Today we recall and celebrate with those who have gone before us that God has said to us, You are blessed. Blessed are you. We are blessed, and so we live in ways that manifest this blessing toward others. This is what All Saints is about.
now. Let us remember with thanksgiving the saints who have gone before us this year. We turn now to the remembrance of the saints and the lighting of our candles. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful who have gone before us and are at rest, let us give thanks to the Lord. Alleluia. O God of the Pilgrim's Way, we give thanks for those in generations past who have been examples for us of God's love at work in the world. As we pray, we know that we are surrounded by this great, rejoicing cloud of witnesses. Yet even as we name these holy ancestors, we thank you, God, for others whose names we never knew or have forgotten who showed us the meaning of life in Christ. Blessed be these saints for the gift of their life to us. Addie Vreelin. Darlene Sampson. Irving Strand. Don Soldner. Fran Wright. Doris Workman. John Nielsen. Lois Drost. Dagmar Jacobson. Florence Mortensen. And all others we remember this day. Holy God, we honor these, our ancestors in faith and members of our family. We, too, seek to do your will. Guide us. We, too, desire to be your servants. Strengthen us. We, too, long to know you clearly. Teach us. And in time, bring us to our eternal home of peace and joy. Amen. Let us pray. O God, remember your church throughout the world. Make all its members grow in love for you and for one another. As you have received our sisters and brothers who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection to eternal life, bring us at last with them into the light of your presence, that in union with all your saints we may give you glory forever. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. hearts to the Lord, let us give thanks. Holy God, mighty Lord and gracious Father, endless is your mercy and eternal your reign. You have filled all creation with light and life. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. We praise you for the grace shown to your people in every age, the promise to Israel, the rescue from Egypt, 
the gift of the promised land, the word of the prophets, and at this, the end of ages, the gift of your Son, who proclaimed the good news in word and deed and was obedient to your will, even to giving his life. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it for all of them to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Send now, we pray, your Holy Spirit, that all who share in Christ's body and blood may live to the praise of your glory and receive our inheritance with all your saints in light. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Join our prayers with those of your servants of every time and every place. Unite them with the ceaseless petitions of our great high priest until he comes as victorious Lord of all. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let's pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Gathered across time and space with all the saints, let us share this meal together. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, given and shed for you. body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. God of abundance, with this bread and cup of salvation, you have united us with Christ, making us one with all your saints and people. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ. Amen final reading from the book of Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Looking to Jesus and surrounded by the cloud of witnesses, may we live forgiven, running the race God has set before us both now and to eternity. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, beloved of God, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen.